Welcome back to the Nerdman channel, everybody. There's a comet in the sky, and you've got to go see this thing. Okay, I came out here about 4 o'clock this morning and set the thing up, got imaging and everything, and I was... Last night I was planning with, I was like, you know what, I'll let it image and I'll go work on the lathe and maybe I'll go do some reading. Well, comets are exciting, okay? I haven't been able to go work on the lathe. I haven't been able to go do any reading. I've just been out here jumping up and down for joy as I look at this thing, okay? These are 25 by 100 millimeter binoculars. I was easily able to spot this thing like within seconds, okay? Using these binoculars. And these are 10 by 42s. I was also able to spot it with these quite easily. I live in the city. This is a Bortle 6, almost a Bortle 7 sky. And it's already bright enough that my LCD screen of the camera will show this comet up quite nicely. Now, it is just kind of a bit of a small fuzzy dot. But, you know, each and every single night this comet is going to get brighter. It's already over magnitude 6. As it gets brighter, you know, it's gonna, the tail's gonna get longer, it's gonna get bigger in the sky, it'll get easier to find. So get out there and try and shoot this thing. Now, what kind of focal length do you need? What kind of equipment? Really, any micro four thirds camera is going to work. Um, I'm using a 1000 millimeter focal length right here, but that is really, really overkill, okay? Um, I've only got one quarter of this comment in the frame, okay? A 100 millimeter lens or longer is probably going to be adequate, especially as this thing gets brighter. When to see it? Okay, you're going to want to get up early in the morning. I know, I know. And to see this thing, 4 o'clock to 5.30, I think it's, it's starting to get light right around 5.30, so that's when you're going to want to stop imaging. And it's actually past 5.30 here now, so that, that's why I'm shooting the video with lights on and everything. But I'm imaging tonight with my EM1X and getting great images, it looks like. I can't wait to process these and put these out there for you to see. And, and yeah, yeah, this is just super exciting. So and, and, uh, this comet, okay, this thing's, it's going to go by Venus and Venus is going to kick this comet out of our celestial system forever. So this is the last time we'll ever get to see this comet. I think it's been around our Earth a couple of times. But yeah, yeah, last time you get to see this little piece of celestial dust before it's gone forever. So hope you can get out there and image this thing. It really is cool. <laughs>